So this video is a review of the lasso tools plus image adjustments. So it is this little thing right here. So for this little project, you're again going to morph his face. This time you're going to use the lasso tools, but you're also going to now apply image adjustments. And again, the ones you need to do are regular lasso tool selection with black and white a polygonal lasso tool selection with invert and a one magnetic lasso selection and you get to play with hue and saturation okay you can do more than this but this is what i need to see so otherwise if you have photopea open then go to it otherwise click on photopea And I've already downloaded the face. So I'll click on that and download it. So I'm going to go new. This time I'm going to call this one Lasso. I'm going to click on photo. Again, I want a five by seven. Although I do not want that DPI so high, so I'm going to put that 150. Hit create. Again, I've got my blank work document. So as before, I'm gonna go file, I'm gonna go open and place. I'm going to click on my face, open it. Remember there's your bounding box, so it's transformable. So I'm gonna stretch it to fill the area and then hit enter. And again, this time we wanna again, play with pixels. So we're gonna come over here, find that layer of the face, right click rasterize so now it becomes pixels box goes away so now i can destroy the pixels so again here's your lasso tools you got your regular lasso your polygonal your magnetic so regular lasso is free form so i am going to choose an eye doesn't matter which and then i am going to take my mouse and kind of just draw over the eye. Again, you can go more squiggly, less squiggly. You can make it pointy if you want to. Just make sure you bring it back to the original point and then release the mouse and it'll give you your marching ants or your selection. So now I am going to come up under image adjustments. And then if I scroll down, see this is black and white. I'm going to click on black and white. It'll give you this menu. One nice thing about this is if you want to, again, you can adjust specific colors. So if you want your red to be more black, push it this way. If you want it to be more white, push it that way. Again, you have complete control. Just make sure you don't like crank it all the way up to like eliminate everything. So and I get it where you want it. When you get it where you want it, hit OK. Although, if you notice, we still have a selection. So I'm going to have to go to Select, Deselect, or some of you will get in the habit of hitting Control D. So again, it took the color out of the selection that I had. Now, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the polygonal. Polygonal is not freeform. Polygonal is like connecting the dots. So every time you click, it's going to place a point and it's going to go draw lines in between those points. So very easy if you get a very planar object. Although if it is oval, then you're going to have to do a little bit of, you can do it. You just got to kind of place your points close together. And again, what shape you create is up to you. And when you get it back where you want it, it should produce the marching ants. Again, now I'm going to go under image again, adjustments. This time I'm going to go toward the bottom. See where it says invert. So it inverts the colors. Again, still have a selection, so I need to go up. Select, deselect, 
And now I am going to use the last lasso tool, which is the magnetic. For this one, I'm going to grab the lips or something that, again, is a little bit more individualized by color. Again, just so you can see it better, I'm going to go Control Plus. So it helps if I actually click on the tool first. Then go Control Plus so I can zoom in. And then now, again, I need to tell the computer kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to kind of come in here, click on part of the lip. And ideally, if I keep it close, if I need to remind it, I just do a click. But it should kind of follow along the path. Because again, it's going to look for edges and similar colors. Then we get back to the original point. I click. Double click. And now, again, you get the selection again. So for this one, I'm going to go image, adjustment. I'm going to come down to hue and saturation. So hue, remember, is the color. Saturation is the amount of color. And this is the amount of light being pushed through it. Again, I'm going to do master. You can isolate by specific color. But for what we're doing, I want to keep it as the master. So for the hue, again, as you scroll, you'll notice that the colors change. So again, this one is about the color. So I'm going to choose a color. Saturation, again, is about the amount. If I go down, it'll make it black and white. So again, I'm taking all the color out. Whereas if I go up, it starts to push more color into what's there. Be careful if you push it all the way up. See how it starts to break the image down and it gets kind of acidic or toxic looking. And then lightness is the amount of light being pushed. This one right now we're going to ideally not need. Again, if you push it too far, it goes to your extremes. So there's using the three lasso tools and then some basic color adjustments. Just make sure remember to go file, export as, JPEG. Remember that not to be 70, 50 is just fine-ish.